we have our application. I think it's smart, especially if you're just learning Rails or you're wanting to get a really firm foundation of it, to always explore the different options that are available. So in order to do that for creating an application, type in Rails new dash dash help. Do that, hit return, and it's gonna go find all of the different options that are available to us. Now, if you look at each one of them, they're all pretty self-explanatory, and a lot of these are not going to be things you'd ever use. So, uh, you right here, the path to the Ruby binary of your choice. I've been doing this for a while. I've never had to use that. Or some of these different custom ones. Uh, some of these would be used if you're wanting to use Rails only for its API components, but you're wanting to put Angular on the front end or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of different customizations like that. Uh, I don't use, I'd say probably 99% of these. However, some of the ones that I use in a lot of different applications are the uh, database setting. And so you can set what database that you wanna use. Another one is I like to skip the unit tests and you can even see this one right here. And the reason why I like to skip the unit tests is because I usually like to use RSpec for my testing library. And sometimes I've found that uh, if you don't skip unit tests, it can be kind of confusing because you're gonna have all of these kind of templated tests using the mini test library that comes with Rails. And it gets a little bit confusing with, uh, with RSpec because you'd essentially have two different testing libraries inside your application. And that could be a little bit messy. Uh, for the database, a lot of times I'll start off using Postgres right from scratch. And so I can plug that right in there. And then another one I do a lot is I like to skip turbo links. And so right here where I say uh, skip turbo links. And the reason for this is because turbo links as great as it is uh, for certain applications, a lot of times if you're doing a lot of custom JavaScript work, uh, it can get in the way of that and you have to put in some, uh, some different helper methods to skip over the turbo links call. And so that, uh, and to give you an idea of what TurboLinks is, it essentially makes every Rails application to function like a, uh, a single page application. And if you don't have to use a lot of JavaScript or custom JavaScript models, then it's perfectly fine. I probably have it in half of my applications, but in the other half where I have a lot of JavaScript work, it saves time to simply skip over it. So to see the way, kind of the syntax of what that would be, I'm not gonna create a new application because we already have ours, but just to show you what it would look like, I would do something like Rails, new, tasky, dash dash, database equals Postgres, SQL, space, dash dash, skip, dash, uh, no, it's actually skip, test, dash, unit, space, dash dash skip dash turbo links and if i ran that it would give us pretty much the same application that we have right now except it would set up the default database to be postgres it would uh, skip all the out of the box unit testing so that we could use RSpec or another testing library. And then it would also not place turbo links into the JavaScript file, into the main application file so that we could create our own JavaScript model, modules and not have to use those. So all of these things, none of these are required. And in fact, the application we're gonna be building doesn't use any of these customizations because I want you to be able to uh, use what Rails gives you right out of the box. However, as you become more advanced, you may find that you have certain proclivities, certain things that you would rather not use or you'd rather skip over or things you'd wanna use right out of the box like a Postgres database. And this shows you how you can do it. And if you go through all the different options, I think you'll see you'll end up using a few of these as you become more familiar with the Rails system.